Samsung has usually launched its flagship S-series devices in two flavors, one with a Snapdragon chipset for the US and other selected markets, and the other with its in-house Exynos chipset for European and Asian regions. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 is slated to take full advantage of TSMC and 4 node, and boost its Cortex-X3 core to 3.5 GHz. For as long as we can remember Samsung has shipped two iterations of its flagship smartphone. The brand new Samsung Galaxy S23 series may be powered by the Exynos SoC, according to the most recent rumors. Although it is anticipated that Samsung would employ the Qualcomm Snapdragon SoC, the insider has said that the smartphone maker may continue to use Exynos SoCs. The source continued by claiming that Samsung's future handsets will have the Exynos 2300 SoC. ICE Universe claims that Samsung's mobile experience division was disappointed with the Exynos 2200 performance. In this year's Galaxy S22 based on Samsung's 4 nanometers of fabrication, the Exynos 2200 uses AMD's Renault 2 GPU, but its performance and power efficiency are far behind the competition. The leaker posted on Weimo that Samsung's mobile experience department wants the Galaxy S23 to be an all-Snapdragon endeavor. A section on Samsung's top brass disagrees with that sentiment and wants to include Exynos 2300 tentative power variants. This is apparently creating a rift in Samsung's upper management. According to many additional sources, the Samsung Galaxy S23 series will have sizes that are identical to those of the present Galaxy S22 series. According to rumors, the Samsung Galaxy S23 Plus would have a 6.6-inch display with a couple of small tweaks to the size. Samsung is reportedly also working on a tailor-made processor for its Galaxy phones, similar to Apple's implementation of its A-series processors for iPhones. It could purportedly optimize the chip for its future Galaxy devices to deliver better performance and efficiency, but the exclusive chipset is not expected to arrive until 2025 at least. Current Exynos chips are predominantly found in Samsung phones, but from time to time they make their way inside phones from Vivo and Motorola. Customers and markets where Samsung supplies the Zmos variants have always felt that they have received the short end of the stick. They're paying the same price for a device that's effectively not performing at a similar level compared to that exact same device, being sold in another part of the world. If Samsung wants to revive the Exynos, I hope they will make it as efficiently and powerfully as Qualcomm, or else fans would be disappointed and the Exynos model won't be sold in whichever country it is. So, what do you think of this S23 with an Exynos CPU? Feel free to share with me in the comment section below. I'll see you guys in the next one, peace out.